Hi, BrainTech here, where tech is made simple. So Mozilla has begun rolling out Firefox version 120, which is now the latest release. And Firefox 120 started rolling out maybe 40 minutes or so ago today on the 21st of November, 2023. Now, when it comes to new features, there's quite a lot going on with privacy improvements in this latest release. So a lot going on what we would consider to be under the hood improvements in regards to privacy. And there's quite a lot to get through. So I'm just going to jump straight in. Now, the first of a good couple of privacy changes is that um, Firefox supports a new copy link without site tracking feature in the context menu. So if we just head over to a link and we right click here in the context menu, you get the new copy link without site tracking which Mozilla says ensures that copied links no longer contain tracking information. And I actually think that's a nice move. Copy link without site tracking, and that's a nice move in the right direction. Then uh, moving on to the second privacy enhancement, um, the browser now supports a setting to enable global privacy control. And for this one, we're going to head over to our settings page, privacy and security, and yeah, you'll see if we scroll down just a little bit, you'll see website privacy preferences. Now, both of these settings are turned off by default. So you have the option to opt in and turn those on. And as you can see with this opt-in feature, um, the browser informs the websites that you don't want your data to be shared or sold. So that's a bit of a privacy improvement uh, rolling out in version 120. And for the next one, we're going to stay on the settings page. And we're going to head up to Enhanced Tracking Protection and head over to the uh, Strict uh, Privacy Configuration, which is Strong Protection, but as many of you may know, may cause some sites or content to break. So now with uh, Firefox's private windows and ETP Strict Privacy Configuration, uh, Mozilla has now enhanced the Canvas APRs with fingerprinting protection, which continues, they say, to protect you while you are online and your online privacy. So as mentioned, quite a lot going on, especially on the settings page uh, with privacy improvements. Now for the next, we're going to head over to the private browsing window, new private window. And these next two changes are only rolling out for those of you using Firefox in Germany. Now the first of two for private windows is that Firefox has enabled cookie banner blocker by default. And this means that the browser will now auto-refuse cookies and dismiss annoying cookie banners for supported sites. And then the second is that the browser has enabled URL tracking protection by default in private windows. So Firefox will remove non-essential URL query parameters that are often used to track users across the web. So two uh, private browsing improvements only rolling out for those of you who found yourselves in Germany. Now, moving back to the settings, because I said, um, as mentioned, there's quite a lot going on on the settings page. And Firefox now imports TLS trust anchors, example certificates, from the operating system root store. So for this, we're going to head back to the uh, privacy and security page in settings. And we are going to scroll down quite a little bit to almost the bottom of the page. And here you'll see certificates. Now, both of these are turned on by default and this will be enabled by default as mentioned on Windows, Mac OS and Android and if needed can be turned off on this settings page so you can toggle both these off if that's your your um, preference so um, the browser now imports TLS trust anchors certificates from the operating system root store. Now for the next two I'm just going to mention these quickly um, keyboard shortcuts have now been added for editing and deleting a selected credential on about colon logins. So for editing on Windows, you use Alt and Enter. And for deleting on Windows, you use Alt and Backspace. And if you are using Mac OS for editing, that will be Option and Return on Mac OS. And if you are deleting, that will be Option and Delete on Mac OS. And then if you are using the browser on Linux, um, you now have the ability to import from Chromium when both are installed as snack snap packages which i think is a nice move if you are using firefox on linux now for the last um key highlight and new feature this one's regarding the picture in picture window uh, pip for short and uh, picture in picture now supports corner snapping on windows and linux so what you do is you hold control uh, as you move the pip window and when you get to a corner 
or in that vicinity, you just let go and there you go, you get the general idea and you do this by holding in control and then just moving that around. As you can see, that corner snapping has now been enabled using control and then just moving that in the desired uh, direction to that uh, corner, uh, holding down control as mentioned. Now, over and above that, um, there are a lot of enterprise and developer under the hood um, changes that I don't think are really going to be of interest to your average home user. And of course, we are dealing with a new version upgrade. So um, to double check that you have uh, this uh, latest release, version 120, we head to our main menu, help, click on About Firefox, latest version and build 120.0. And then if we head to the release notes by clicking on what's new, as always, um, we've got a good couple of uh, security um, fixes that have rolled out. So for this, we're going to head over to the security fixes page over on Mozilla's website. And yeah, we can see the vulnerabilities fixed in version 120. And there are a total of 10 security issues that have been fixed and addressed. So um, 10 security fixes have rolled out with version 120. And out of the 10, most of those, six in total, are high impact, which is your second highest vulnerability after a critical. So there you can see the high impacts are highlighted in red. And uh, um, six of those rolling out. So 10 security fixes in total, six high impact. So um, a lot's going on with privacy and security in version 120, which is always a good thing. So that's it. That's more or less what's new in this latest release, version 120 of Firefox. And as mentioned, quite a lot of focus by Mozilla on privacy improvements in this latest stable version. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.